What you always wanted to know about creativity in Montreal, but were afraid to ask. With the discovery of the new world, Montreal is born as a paradigm shift, the next new thing in business models for the 17th century. Worse even than the black flies that harassed our founding fathers, Montrealers are bitten by an innovation bug that's still buzzing around our ears today. In the 18th century, the French business plan consists of scooping up limitless supplies of gold. When gold proves scarce but beavers are found in annoying abundance, the first re-engineering of a business process in recorded history occurs with a timely innovation, beaver mining. Montreal becomes the fur industry capital of the world. Come the 19th century, opportunities for hunting furry game grow fewer, but man's primal need to spear, slash, and devour endures. The inevitable result? Hockey. Along with basketball, rugby, and football, Montrealers develop the latest, greatest testosterone-consuming pastime since fending off the Iroquois. The sports industry and its spin-off, the beer industry, are born. 1919. Prohibition sucks the lifeblood from all of North America. Undaunted by mere laws, Montreal becomes home to a booming jazz and imbibing scene. Speakeasies spring up everywhere. And with the border just 70 kilometers away, booze makers raise a glass to exciting new opportunities in international trade. 1928. Despite prohibition, the party never ends in Montreal. Late night revelers fuel voracious demand for the Jewish community's latest contribution, the smoked meat sandwich. Fast forward to the future, Celine Dion sings her hit song, Gimme a Medium on Rye, to puzzled Las Vegas audiences. 1961. The economy gets a shot in the arm with Louise Poirier's invention of the push-up bra, helping ladies worldwide boost their assets. 1965. With its subway system finished, Montreal faces the burning question, what to do with all the dirt? The obvious answer? Make an island and host Expo 67. Only nine years later, as an international city of jet setters with nothing better to do, Montreal bids on and wins the 1976 Summer Olympic Games. Seen against an ocean of North American English, French Montreal itself is a big idea, and one whose unrelenting defense may be the city's greatest claim to fame of all. Today, the torch of creativity gets passed on once again. C2 MTL.